Hey, what's up, guys? Um, this is Dave from Team Grade Lock. Uh, what? <laughs> um, I'm here with a nice Smexy deck profile of Senior Zorga right here. <clears throat> and honestly, it's a niche deck in the overdress format. However, overall, I think that it's just, it's super toolboxy. And honestly, like, you just play it however you want. I'm still testing things out, but this is what nearly my concrete version right now. Uh, and I'll show you what you can, uh, when you can take out, what you can, uh, like what's more important and whatnot. So we're gonna start off with the ride line. We're gonna start with uh, first off Azorga, <clears throat> Black Tier Husk, Rancor Chain, and uh, Dream Nibbling. I don't know why they changed the name, but whatever. Um, I blinged it out day one because I like the deck that much, and it was dirt cheap. <clears throat> was was what? Nay, what? Yeah, now n no longer dirt cheap. But otherwise, that it's uh, <clears throat> overall like these are all really good cards. Um, more or less these two, you need to play more of these two are really flexible, but we'll go into that in a minute. Uh, going into grade threes, uh, you only play, I only play, uh, three, uh, three Zorga. For the sole fact of the matter is that, <clears throat> or I play three, uh, three Zorga all of, to max out the ride line. But I don't play any others because the grade threes right now aren't really necessary until set two. But overall, having a card that triggers your Alka Magic and uh, gets a, a res for Counter Blast 1 is just really strong. Uh, Alka Magic, for who do, those who don't know, is that you play an order from your hand, and if you have an order and you drop some, you pay both costs simultaneously. Like you pay a Counter Blast and a Soul Blast all together, and you activate both effects. And uh, honestly, it's really good. It's, it allows for really toolboxy events. <clears throat> Next up, Grade Twos. We play two additional copies of uh, Black Tier Husk outside of the ride line because this is a 15k, and because you have three, it's one of your main beaters. Um, actually, it is your main beater because you just play an order and it becomes a 15k. You play as uh, the spiritual body condensation, makes it a 20k if you res it. <clears throat> and overall, it's just a really solid beater. Really good at grade two aggression. Still really good later on because, uh, during your grade three ride pushes. And overall, just a very solid card. Next up, we play best girl. And I've learned my mistake of playing of not playing her at four. Her at four is very good. Uh, this is, uh, I don't know her full name, Inheritance Maiden Hendriana. Uh, her skill is when this unit is placed on Rearguard Circle, you can mill the top three cards of your deck. Basically filling up your drop zone with units that you can use to call and or units or uh, uh, order cards that you can use for Alka Magic. Very good to just like always having like a play and a future play in mind and being able to play around it. And the fact of matters, her second ability is Retaliate Unit. When you would pay the cost for Alka Magic this turn, the cost is re uh, reduced to zero. Or the Soul Blast cost is reduced to zero. My bad. That's very important. And that's more because the deck doesn't have very consistent Soul Charging. And you want to hit, you want to you want to make sure you balance out those resources really well. And having a Hendrion on board, having Hendrion in hand, having a Hendrion in drop zone just to be able to fill up your board for just almost almost a Counter Blast or two Counter Blasts at most is really strong. And having free resources. Free resources, free resources. <clears throat> uh, grade ones, you play four, obviously four of the Planner Protect, uh, Planner Prevent Dragon. It's just a really uh, the PG, the new PG out of the uh, Genesis set one. Uh, yep. They, uh, <laughs> My God, you really did foil. Hollow foil. Yep, hollow foiled out. Uh, these could be SPs, but I I like the deck, but I'm not ready to break a wall for it. Um, but the fact of the matter is, just these features are so good because. Um, you do need every piece in your hand. So the fact of the matter is that like, if you have to discard everything, you could still guard, but if you only have one other card in your hand, you can keep that one extra card. Or if you know other cards, you could still perfect guard. And these new PGs are really solid. And then you play three Mantis, or you can play four. I will show you, what you what's flexible later. But the fact of the matter is Mantis is so good at making those numbers. So good, like you can, let's say you don't have an order but you have you have a black tier husk on board. You can you can automatically give it a a 5k by calling this, making this a 15k, and having AK booster. This is gonna be 23, reaching a magic number on your opponent's vanguard. So Mantis is such a good card for like either compensating or pushing those like your big turns by helping pushing those magic numbers, having uh, being able to like just be a really good grade one boosting up your units, and it's for free. Just calling it uh, if you're playing against prison, they prison. They prisoned it because they needed to meet that requirement. You call it back out, you get free 5k on something else. Uh, you retire it, your opponent retires it, cool, you could bring it back out and give another plus 5k to something else. 
It's such a good card. Such a good card. <clears throat> I wish I could play it at four. Or I could I could choose to play it four. You could choose to play it four. I'll show you what's flexible in a bit. Next up is the orders, the bread and butter of this deck. Play three, grief, despair, and rejection. Because why if you can't persona ride, why don't you make your own for a counter blast? Like it's just it's so good. If you uh, the effect is when you're on uh, spirit, uh, uh, you're on Zorga, you counter blast one. Uh, choose three of your units and it gets plus 10. So I just get a free Persona Ride, and if I did Persona Ride, I just have 30k beaters up front. Or near 30k beaters up front. That, I, that's insane. It's a ma it's um, just hitting really big numbers almost consistently is really strong, and uh, being able to use Alchemagic, and if this is in your drop zone, you just have to manage your resources properly. If this is in your drop zone, you could still do it almost consistently, as long as you have an order in your hand. All right, next up is ooh, four spiritual body condensation. Again, foiled because I am, I really like the deck. I won't do this for any other deck, but this, this is really nice. It's your monster reborn. Soul boss one, choose a unit in your drop zone. Uh, it's a great, uh, great equal to or less than your Vanguard. Gets plus 5k and you bring it back onto the board. It, it's so good. Like you, you use Alchemagic for these two, counter boss. Uh, so you use this, um, use this first. Let's say you only have two units on board. You use this, you meet your three unit threshold. And then you activate this. <clears throat> Guys, as long as you still pay the counter boss and soul boss. It's so good because obviously filling up the board again constantly over time and time again is really good. Um, getting, <clears throat> having it just, a, you can make a trigger at 10k with this, a 10k booster or a 10k attacker with this. And then making a 20k with this is just um, really strong. <laughs> like I, I, don't, um, I don't see why you wouldn't play this at more than uh, three or more. You can play this at three if you want, if you don't. Like if you see it enough, like you're confident enough in the deck that you don't need it, or you or you don't need to play it at four, you can play you different units. Perfectly fine. Like the deck is flexible. You can play a fourth copy of this. You can play a fourth copy of anything else, but really strong, nonetheless. Next up is I wish I could play this at more, but I, it's hard to find the space. Ghost Chase or Magical Bounce. It, it's Ghost Chase in this game. So basically, what it is that um, it's a Blitz order. You uh, when you guard with it, you choose the unit that's being attacked. Gets plus five. And you choose another unit and you can bounce it back to your hand. So, let's say, in the sense that you, uh, let's say in that sense you use Hendriana's skill. You mill a trigger. You mill a trigger and be like, dang, I didn't want to see that trigger. But, the fact of the matter is, if you bring it back out that trigger by some means through Spiritual Body Condensation, Zorga's Grade 3 ability, you can, it could be a booster and then you can use Ghost Chase, bounce back to your hand and guard with it. Or you could do it on a future uh, future attack and then make sure you have enough guard in order to last through the next couple attacks. It's just such a good card for a deck that needs that mills out its resources and doesn't have like really consistent guard options. Then we got good old Crystals, Wriggles, and Agony. Again, it's a it's a good card. It's a grade three. Well, I'd say good card. I'd say it's really flexible. You could take it out, keep it in, up to you. Uh, it's Soul Blast two. If you're a grade three, a uh, middle top four card to your deck, um, choose one of them, call to regard. If you're using Alchem Magic, you get to call two instead of one, and they get plus five. Uh, it's really steep cost, but that's why Hendriana is good, because you can just sack Hendriana, keep the soul, and then pay a counter blast. Or if you use Spiritual Bonding Condensation, you can, instead of paying three soul blasts, you pay nothing, and you just call three units for, for free, except for the mill. But other than that, um, it's really good early. You don't want to do it too often. And I it's just I just think it's a pretty uh, it's pretty good until uh, future orders come out. So you can play this at three if you want to see it that often or not. But uh, I prefer playing it too because I don't want to use it too often. I prefer the other orders. Finally, the most flexible card, and I trust me, I'm gonna get a lot of crap for this, and I get it. I'm still learning one if I want it. Two cheerful malice. Again, I I could you could play this with any other card. I you could play a third third copy of a. Uh, of a uh, cursed souls, you could play a fourth copy of uh, <clears throat> of grief, despair, and rejection in order to get that additional power. I'm trying it out, but the thing is that like sometimes you just want that resource. It's it's. I think in our play testing um, in the past couple of nights, we found out that this deck has a very bad prison matchup. Oh yeah, no, the, the prison matchup is a horrendous because your resource game is horrible <laughs> against that. You're already micromanaging your resources against every other deck, but against Prism. You have to beat them down as fast as you can. The fact of the matter is that you can trigger this if you have two rear guards is great. 
because you can get rid of him. That way, they don't get prison and exactly. you get your counter blasts back. Yeah. yeah, so like it gives an extra stall turn. Also, like if you don't have the counter blast or soul blast in order to activate another order and you drop something you really need, the fact of the matter is that you could sack him off and use this is great. But again, if you don't, if you feel as though oh, I have a real, I, I can fight against prison, then don't play this. Play something else. You can play or more. Like if you're both Person. Yeah, if you don't have prison, then you don't worry about it. Like, um, you could play more of this. You play Max Out Four. You can play the Grade Three Hot Dollar Ram Cam. That's an 18k for just playing Ultra Magic. Uh, you, there's a lot of options you could uh, switch out for this. It's a good card. I, I, it's not. It's actually, I take that back. It's not a great it's card. It's a very situational. It's card. a very situational card, but it, it, it's a testing option, and that's why that's what we're here for. Let us know in the comments down below. Exactly. All right, next up we're going into triggers. Obviously you play the Soikea over trigger. You don't have to bling it out. I believe this card's like about $50 right now. At is the time, it really? Stop. At the time of this recording, I believe it's almost $50. What is happening? <laughs> this video is sponsored by Alex's house. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is basically this is the Omni trigger. Um, they did errata it, so you have to be careful about that. So like, <clears throat> so it's uh, if you have equal to or uh, equal to or more than damage than your opponent, then you would trigger the heal. Not just if you have more damage than your opponent. But er basically, it triggers everything. You get your hundred million from the trigger ability. You get a front trigger. You get a crit trigger, and uh, you get a heal trigger and a draw trigger. So when you remove this in the game, you draw one for the over trigger, and then you do draw another for the uh, over trigger's effect. Draw two. Draw two, two cards so good, but you know, over triggers are dumb and you know, whatever. You, you, all, you all know how bad these things get. Uh, you play play eight crit, uh, eight crit because the deck needs to be oppressive. You cannot, you cannot stall, you can, I mean, you can, but like your resource game is gonna run out eventually. Like that's why this is situational at best. <clears throat> but you want to be oppressive almost every turn. So having crits is just such a strong advantage. And if not, if you accidentally mill it, you have Ghost Chase to bounce it back to your hand, 15k shield. Why is that not bad? That's amazing. Next up, um, preference, I play three front triggers. Three front triggers because it's the same logic as the other one, as uh, the crit triggers, that you need to be oppressive. And you buy <clears throat> almost every turn, you should have a front board. So making like either making from a 15k column go to a 20, uh, 25k column. Um, making an 18k column go to 28. It's just too too good to make to just keep knocking your opponent's uh, cards at your opponent's hand, and the deck manages its resources really well. So again, you can run draw triggers. I just because you mill in this deck, I'm not the biggest fan of decking out because that's happened one too many times to me. <clears throat> but again, this is again something you can switch out for draw triggers. Um, maybe try the different front trigger, or there's no other trigger you could play. And finally, top it off, you play four heal triggers because you, I yeah, living is really cool in this game. Granted, this is an undead deck, but you know what? Yeah, hey, hitting a heal trigger is really nice. Also, this card is really pretty. Yeah, the R one. <clears throat> yeah, but overall, uh, if I were to rate this deck, I would, I definitely wouldn't say it's one of the top decks. I would say that it's definitely. I mean, no. I mean, okay. You, yeah. It's a very, it's a very good beatdown deck. But other other decks that do it better. There are decks that hit more big, better numbers. There are decks that hit more can uh, hit their stuff more consistently. I like the deck because first of all, Zorga looks cool as heck. And secondly, is like I like the idea of toolboxing. I like the idea of playing multiple of these new mag uh, option cards that Butcher implemented not that uh, a couple years ago, and just having them have multiple effects. And it's really cool. And uh, honestly, like if you guys like it. Um, I yeah, I'd say more power, yeah, more, more power to you, and you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, try this deck out and leave your co uh, comments about what you think about the deck, what changes you would like to make, or what uh, what you would adapt to it. I'll I will do my best to respond. And uh, if you'd like to see more of this content, uh, leave a like, uh, uh, just like, comment, and subscribe, and you know, just let us know. And uh, if you want to see more uh, match videos with Zorga, because I personally don't see a lot of Zorga matchups online. Um, let us know and we will we're put them out. <laughs> yep, we're, we're, we're gonna be working on it. We just opened the set like two days ago. Yeah. Three days ago? Yeah, three days ago. Yeah, three days ago. That's how much work. But, uh, thank you for watching this video and, uh, deuces. He said it! <laughs>